Hello, and welcome back to another episode of ACTV. I'm your new host, Kaldali. Today we are filming up in Arcologist's most iconic building, the Aquinas Castle. This piece of historic architecture stands towering over our lush fields and is the bedrock that builds up our school. It is truly a sight to behold. Recently, there has been plenty going on at the college, from the inter-house debating and a visit to the aquarium by the borders. But first, Michael Scott captures our fun and festivities of our feast day, where we celebrated Edmund Ignatius Rice. On the 18th of August, the whole school had a chance to celebrate the day of blessed Edmund Rice. This event allows the students to get out of the classroom and donate money to the Edmund Rice Camps for Kids. We talked to Jonah Smith on why the school celebrates this day. Uh, so Edmund Rice Day is, holds the legacy of the founder of the Christian Brothers, Edmund Rice. Um, so it's the tradition to carry on his legacy throughout service, uh, leadership and uh, raise money through, for charity throughout the day. This was a good chance to raise money to the Edmund Rice Camps for Kids. Luke is still in ACTV. Jaden, as a party, follows the boarders' experience through the gates of Aqua. Here's what they thought. Recreational activities are provided to boarders on the weekends to allow them to socialise and keep busy. A recent activity that was offered to the Year 7 and 8 boys was a visit to the Aqua in Hillary's. Students who attended said it was a really fun event and enjoyed being able to see many different marine life. Oh, it's quite, quite a bit of fun, you know, coming out here. Um, it's a lot different rank to what we usually have, like, because we usually don't go see animals, at least we go to the zoo. Um, but like, besides that, it was actually real fun, like. A further highlight of the visit was the dark tunnel walk where dark jellyfish were able to be seen. Great experience for all the boys, you know, coming down here. It's a um, different type of wreck, but learning all about the marine life is pretty interesting. Like all the different types of animals that we have in our waters. Recreational officer Rocky Antonia is new to the role and says that it's really important to keep the boys busy and active. So recently I have put a survey out to all the boys in Aquinas boarding and I have gathered all our responses together to make sure that the boys get a variety of rec opportunities that they enjoy doing. Uh, I've had good feedback from this. Boarders at Aquinas are very fortunate to be able to participate in so many activities and the Aqua experience has certainly been a highlight. Jane has a party, ACTV. The final of the house debating always provides great entertainment. Jack Shepard investigates. The senior school debating competition came to an end on the 21st of June, coming down to Durek and Cheney in the finals. Both sides had strong arguments and definitely entertained the senior school cohort. Here's what Matthew Vinci and Matt Paliello had to say. Well, I think debating is a really good opportunity for boys to do. Not only helps with public speaking, but helps you to formulate ideas and talk about those ideas, uh, in the form of arguments. And in terms of school debating, it's quite fun to go against your peers, especially in a house competition. It makes it a bit more interesting. I thought the crowd got behind both teams, especially Sam Yao. He seems to be a bit of a cult hero, a uh, crowd favourite. Uh, you know, the MCing was very good, um, and I thoroughly enjoyed participating in the debate today. It was quite a difficult topic for us and we, we really struggled with planning so I think the f what we actually ended up producing and what we actually ended up arguing was a really great opportunity and was really fun to actually do. It was a lively debate between the affirmative and negative teams and definitely entertained the senior school. Congratulations to Cheney House for winning. Jack Shepard, ACTV. That's this episode of ACTV. Tune in next time where we go around the track with Relay for Life. Bye for now.